So uh, if we were to come to the role of higher uh, education institutes and particularly uh, the leading lights like uh, the Institute of Technology and uh, where we are right now in Jodhpur, uh, you have envisaged a vision for setting up a center of excellence on AI. So could you just dwell on that and how do you see that, how do you see that being used uh, and how do you see that uh, bridging the gap between uh, what is needed in terms of uh, 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 improvement in the lives of common citizens and how uh, uh, the center of excellence can uh, be the glue in that process. See the key point is uh, to all these things if it has to happen you need manpower and a fundamental mission of a higher education institute like IIT is to produce well trained capable manpower. So one of the reasons why we had set up this kind of a sophisticated AI uh, lab is because we would like to produce top class AI professionals. The key point here is today we need people who can design AI systems which are fundamentally directed towards solving problems, not just replicating what has been done somewhere else. And that can happen if we can provide infrastructure which is best in the world, if we can provide the best mentoring which is best in the country in the world, then only we can produce that kind of a manpower. And that's the reason why we had set up such a program and, and also the infrastructure for it. At the same time, we are looking forward to collaborations with industries all around the country because with industry only, the skills can get actually refined by the students. At the same time, uh, higher institutes of learning can actually make fundamental contributions when industry comes forward with problems and, and ready to take the solutions for implementation. Otherwise, the problems that are solved at a research level in an academic institutions, most of the cases they may contribute fundamental knowledge. But translation of that fundamental knowledge to the technology in the field doesn't happen. And in this area of AI today, data is a critical component which can enable this technology development. And we need industry support to actually to get the data as well as to build data repositories. The example that I was talking about with this uh, Sirohi uh, problem, here we need to build up the data repository coming from multiple sources, not only uh, for silicosis X-ray images, but also if we do a LFT, that lung, lungs capability testing with an IoT enabled device, then getting that data, putting it together to create a predictive prognosis model, I need wherewithal to manage huge volume of data at the cloud and getting things connected onto the cloud to capture the data, to actually store the data in a clean way. So data infrastructure is something very, very critical, important for this kind of uh, centers to run where absolutely state-of-the-art AI technology is expected to be developed. And in this context, collaborations with uh, industries like NetApp is important for an, higher, uh, for an institute of, higher, of learning. 